God. Some wave. He's still around. He's just cruising around with me. He's like waving his little fins at us, his little arms at us. Oh, it's just really, really amazing. You can see his tail and his head and everything. And we're just sitting here right now and watching him. It's just so beautiful. Goodbye, whale family. From Isla Chapelas, we headed further southwest to another anchorage, which was about six miles away. And we saw a lot of whales along the way that were cruising around in the vicinity and waving to us with their little fins. Coming into this channel here to go to this anchorage, and it's not very deep nor wide. The charts seem to be off a little bit too, so <laughs> I'm gonna figure it out. Navionic says it's 6.5, Bauhaus says it's around 2 to 3. We're having nearly 7 meters, so we're still good. Maria, you gotta run, call the ground or what? No, you only tap a little bit. <laughs> Just scratch the bottom a bit. Just tickle his keel a little. He's got the whale fin. Oh, there's the crazy sandbank. Apparently, you could also come in this way. <laughs> this looks a little bit more tricky than where we came in. God, that's a beautiful anchorage. Look at that. Apart from whale watching, you can also watch the Panamanian fishermen come in. Hola! Hola, buenas! <laughs> Relajando! There you go. <laughs> like shit, we're talking to the girls. I talked to the girls. We've been sitting here all night, we didn't talk to the girls. You guys just show up and you're talking to the girls. <laughs> I think we're in a bay called La Bayoneta and we arrived two days ago. It's very beautiful and quiet. There's one other boat here in the anchorage. We dropped the anchor like six different times because there's a couple of submerged rocks and the anchor just didn't want to hold. But finally we found a spot, like chart-wise, just right on top of the rocks, so that was interesting. And now we're on our way to circumnavigate this little island here. It's really pretty. Hmm? <laughs> no, it's it's not that big. It goes around here. No, no, you can go through that channel. Oh, can okay. you? Yeah. I don't know if it's here or there, but right. there's a channel either there or there. Oh, oh, oh! There it is. There's the outrance.
We stopped at a little beach that was covered with tons and tons of little purple shells and we were wondering why there were so many of them in that one spot, but we never found out. These guys are fishing for something, we haven't quite figured out what it is yet, but we're assuming octopus because they're smacking it. <laughs> oh no, he's leaving. I thought we were getting close to the ¿Qué? ¿Pero qué tipo están pescando? Agarrando pulpo. ¿Pulpo? Sí. ¡Ah! Sí. ¿Hay mucho aquí? Sí, aquí, ve, abajo. ¡Ah! Pulpo rock? y pescado. ¡Ah, qué bueno! Sí. ¿Y lo venden en la ciudad? Sí, ah. ¡Ah, bueno! Sí. ¡Suerte! There's one. Oh. Okay, allow. We collected some snails that we wanted to use as bait to catch a fish, and we actually did succeed and caught a big snapper at night. Negative snails. You have to some wet water wrapping. Closing the circle. So this morning we wanted to go for a little hike on the island to this massive peak of 100 meters. <laughs> but we got distracted a little bit by a tiny rain shower, but it wasn't all too bad because we really had to do some laundry so we took the chance and washed all our clothes and uh, Maria took a little dive into the boat because she got <laughs> sidetracked by a little lightning maybe. <laughs> but, it wasn't all too bad, but uh, a bit scary. And now the sky's cleared up a little bit, and we're gonna try and paddle in and conquer the jungle and that massive mountain. Well, unfortunately our little hike to the hill did not work out that well because the whole island is being um, privatized now and they're building stuff so we weren't allowed to go further than the beach. So we had to motor around the corner to this anchorage um, to this little village of Pedro Gonzalez and it's a nice bay too. People are super friendly. We just came in with a whole bunch of trash and the first thing they say like, hey, hola señoritas, how can we help you? So we got rid of our trash, so that's really good. It was quite the adventure to get it over here on, on uh, Prod. <laughs> Ready to explore, Chica? Go check out Gonzales. Maybe find some fried chicken? I found the bar or the gambling corner. Queso! <laughs> Trash cats!
What was our hunt today? Well, we were able to find a precious tomato. One. <laughs> Cucumber. One. One. Uh, potatoes, which is lots, which I love. What else? And what else did we get? Onions. A pound of onions. Yeah, one and a half pounds of onions. onions. And four, ba four bell peppers. Four bell peppers. And a bag of crisps. Four. 70.25. Yep. 70? 7.25. Yeah, 7.25. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> 7 7.25. And a beer. And a beer. <laughs> chin chin. The Pearl Islands have been an incredibly beautiful first stop in the Pacific. And now we're going to head out to an overnight sail over to a little surf spot called Benaua further west. But more about that next week.